This is Talk 650. This is Talk 650. Powered by CBS Radio. One of the things that makes my job easier but is a little bit sad is just how much of the country now is basically the same. You know, that everybody has their cheesecake factory and yeah. everybody has their super target, you know, and, and uh how much how much trouble do you go to when you're in a different town to seek out the local mom and pop kind of restaurant cafe watering hole thing that's not a franchise chain. Uh, I I do. My my thing is um I collect record store t-shirts that's sort of my hobby yeah. um just because they're not going to exist in 10 years. That's right. <laughs> and uh I love music and I want to give those places money mm-hmm. but uh, what am I going to bring a bunch of CDs home and then yeah, upload yeah. to my computer it's just not worth it so my thing that I like to do is if I have a rental car like I'll look up like a cool indie rock sort mm-hmm. of record store mm-hmm. and I'll just go there because usually if you find one of those places that'll kind of put you in kind of a cool neighborhood Yeah, and then I just sort of walk around and stuff and so I have about Probably 20 different, uh, like I got one in Perth, Australia a couple months ago, which is really cool. Was it printed upside down? (laughs) No, yes. uh, (laughs) When you wash it in the washing machine, it goes the opposite direction of all the other other clothing. Yes. Um, But that's kind of an easy way, and I would much rather go. I I will admit that sometimes when you're going to a college, a lot of times college shows, college is in the middle of nowhere, Uh and so seeing a cheesecake factory can be like, all right, I know what that is. There's a certain (laughs) relief there. But if I'm in a major city, I would much rather go to you know Joe's Barbecue. Sure, you know, you know, we were talking about the the Texas secession thing, um, (laughs) and and I I, you know you're on Keith Olbermann's show, not a lot. No, no, I haven't been on in a few months. Because yeah. the scheduling hasn't worked, but I've probably been on about 25, 30 times. But it kind of raises the question: when you're doing your your bit, when you're writing your stuff, how much do you have to stay on top of current events to make sure that uh, the, the the jokes are fresh and and relatable to what's going on? Well, I I am a bit of a of a news geek um, anyway, which is basically my way of being able to sit in front of the television and feel like I'm not wasting time. Yeah. Oh, no, I was watching Cardball. That must mean that I'm being productive with my day. No, not at all. Um, so you do have to feel like you're on top of things. A lot of my stand-up, most of my stand-up is not topical, per uh-huh. se. Yeah. Mostly just because it, it gets... You have to provide so much context. It's not on television, like on The Daily Show or even like on Best Week Ever when we talk about like dumb celebrity news. Sure. There would be, you know, they would show a clip of something and then you'd make jokes about the clip. So there's automatic context. Yeah. Whereas on in comedy, you have to be like, did you guys hear about this filibuster? Or yeah. Blah, 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 and then you have to the explain what it is. It takes forever. And, exactly. And most political humor is awful, 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 awful. Well, it's um, so sad. Well, and it's but it's always <laughs> just so like... <laughs> you know, like I said, there's so much setup involved, and, yeah. you know, and they end up just being a glorified, and, you know. And then it also ends up being slanted one side or the other. You, it basically means you're picking a side and you're going to offend in most places, 50% of your audience. Yeah. And, you know, but that's something you have to do. Like I, I would say that, you know, I'm a pretty liberal dude. That's that's me. But you know, I have great crowds in Houston. I have great crowds in other parts of the city, other parts of the country that may be conservative or whatever. Because I I'm not literally, you know, I'm not waving a sign <laughs> from the stage. It's you know, I think anybody watching me, even if I'm not talking about news, can basically guess that I'm probably on the left side of things. Just because I I definitely am uh, from being beaten up as a child. Well, I am I'm an underdog <laughs> kind of guy. You're in showbiz. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm is. a bleeding heart artist. Christian Finnegan is in studio with us. He's playing at the Improv this weekend. We'll visit with him some more when we return. I'm Brent Clanton. I'm Stephen Kay, and it's 46 past on Talk 650, powered by CBS Radio.